All right, guys. Welcome back. Carter and Ray, Bits Me Trippin'. This one's your show today, buddy. We're going to do a teardown of the three GPUs that we've been covering over the last couple days. We do not have the ultrasonic cleaner here. I'm going to bring an ultrasonic cleaner here. We're going to pick up one before we can do a proper cleaning on the next series of GPUs. But these ones are going to do the old school alcohol and Q-tip routine to clean them. And we're going to go through and be putting in some thermal grizzly on them. And we have different thermal pads here. I'll have all this stuff linked below in the description today. We have different thermal pads. This is going to be using one millimeter pad, but we have a range of different pads here from 1.5 millimeter, 2.5 millimeter. I went and got the range all the way up to 3.5 millimeter. Picked up some extras here because we're going to be doing some more GPUs in this. We got the 3090 that we still have not reviewed. It's been pushed down for an entire week. Sorry for that, guys. We've been trying to get some stuff done here, but we will be doing that with the 3090 after we test it because I want to see what it does and how it runs and all that kind of stuff. But today's video is going to be Ray tearing down these GPUs. We've already done one. That way I know uh, I have some at least some basic confidence that there was something having an issue with the thermal paste there. It is, it's crusty. It's does, it's, there's no, like all the viscosity was gone. Like the, it is literally just dust essentially. And that's why these GPs were getting up to the temperatures that they were close to 85 C. So the design on this isn't actually that good either. These, uh, Asus strict, uh, five seventies, the heatsink doesn't actually cover. It only covers like, three of the memory chips out of like seven. So it's actually a terrible design, but we did put an extra thermal pad on that. You guys will see all that. I'm giving way too much away in the entrance. Let's jump to the today's sponsor and then we'll get into this. This episode is sponsored by Compass Mining, the company that makes Bitcoin mining accessible for everyone. The world is paying attention to Bitcoin miners lately. Mining difficulty is down and profitability is up. There's almost never been a better time to be a miner. Getting started with Compass is easy. You just purchase a machine, pick a hosting facility, and let them do the work. So if you're ready to start mining Bitcoin today, head over to compassmining.io. And we are live. We are recording. Live. We are recording. Recording. The mic is hot. Mic is hot. All right. So your piece there, I'm going to record and get some of this for these folks to be able to see the close-ups. You're going to do this first uh, card here, and we're going to do tear down, clean up, and reapplication of Thermal Grizzly, Thermal Knot. Shameless plug for this. Um, this was purchased, so they did not send this to us, but let's get into this. All righty. So now the first thing you want to do, you're going to look at this GPU, okay? You're going to see all the screws that's holding everything together, all right? Now on this particular GPU, the only screws you need to take out are on this back side, all right? Okay, so then all the screws are out. What you need to do, unplug these right here. So we're going to talk a real quick overview of the GPU as we pan across it. So GPUs really are just the core, which is the big uh, chip in the center. And then you have memory usually surrounding it. Also on that memory, you'll also have the type of memory usually on it. So these are Alpita memory. And then you'll have the VRMs, which are voltage regu regulation modules. So on this particular has a heatsink on the VRM that actually doesn't touch the overall heatsink of the, the uh, GPU. It actually is just getting cooled by the fans that are behind there. So. You're just gonna give you a little Q-tip. Oh. 
Yeah, once you remove the bulk of the with the scraper, then you can clean it off with the rubbing alcohol and you usually get the rest of the stuff off. Taking my Q-tip, rubbing alcohol on it. I'm gonna clean off the core. This is Thermal Grizzly, shameless plug. We bought this. They did not give it to us. Okay, and with this stuff, you do not need a lot. You just need a little. What you're gonna want to do? Rub it in something plastic, not metal. You know, scratch it. That's not good. So now what I'm doing is putting the what are they called? Thermal pads on the memory. All right. Right now I'm just measuring the distance. Right now, now that's your finished product right there that you're seeing on the screen. Plug those in. You just put your screws back in. And hopefully you have successfully made your GPU run better and more efficient because it is gonna be cooler now. Your memory is gonna be cooler. The core is gonna be a little cooler. And that is what makes the GPU run more efficient. GPU is now done. All right, we're back. I think it was a good success. You did a couple of them. You were a lot faster on the second one. And that's the thing about doing like one GPU. It seems like it's very tedious. It's a lot quicker with the others, do you think? Yes, for sure. Um, once you know how and how to take them apart, it, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the uh, heat pad under the VRMs, we did check that. We didn't show you guys any video of that. They are good. They didn't look uh, any issues. Uh, it wouldn't have made any sense to give a new VRM pad there. Um, that was under that little heat sink, so we didn't cover that piece. But the next up on the next video is going to be plugging these into the rig and then checking our thermals and temperatures and making sure that we are good to go. And if we don't have any more uh, heat spots, any kind of issues, I'm thinking that they're going to run a lot more efficient now, uh, considering that other stuff really wasn't thermal paste. It was just dry dust, essentially, what we had removed uh any takeaways from this 
Right? Pretty easy stuff. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty easy once you get to uh, know like the parts and then what you're doing. It gets pretty easy. Yeah, I don't... can definitely tell like as a newbie though, like someone telling me to do it, I would not know what to do. But after doing it and like you know learning from him, that it's actually pretty simple. It's pretty. Don't be afraid. I mean, that's what the point of these videos are. Don't be afraid of it. Watch it. Do your research. Watch a couple of videos. There's not much to these GPUs. There's a few scr screws that hold them on. Each GPU is a little different. We'll see that as we start to do other GPUs. Like when we break down the 3090 test, it's there's a lot more involved with the 3090. There's certain things you have to look for. What I always recommend to people is if you're about to tear down a GPU, look to see if somebody's done it for you on your behalf. And if you don't have that video, even if you don't have a YouTube channel, I've told this people, to, I've told this to people a few times. If you do content, I don't care if you have one subscriber. If you take the time and you haven't found a GPU that is on YouTube and you've done the teardown, use your cell phone. You don't need any special equipment. Just make sure you have good lighting and then just record the process. It helps you remember where things are at for you can go back to it. I, that's one thing I've learned over time of like, man, I really wish I would have recorded what I just did there, but record it and then take that content and just put it together. It doesn't matter how kind of sloppy it is or whatever the first video that you ever make. That way somebody else has at least the teardown part of it, right? And say, hey, don't forget about this wire here. Oh, and I pulled it back. I almost ripped it off. That kind of stuff is invaluable when you're playing with a very expensive GPU. So use that experience um, to, to learn from it. And I will, I will disclose when I was tearing off, showing him the first GPU, what I do, you broke the piece I, off. I broke a piece off of it. So like when I was actually pulling apart the GPU, when I was pulling, there's the two wires there. One is the, the light that's on the top of the GPU here. It's the smaller one. And then there is a fan controller. That fan controller, if you, when you're pulling that off, it needs to come straight up. If you come at an angle on it and you're pulling towards you or anything with it laying down, you're going to break like... There's four corners to it, and I took off one of the one of the front spots there. <laughs> it gets a little brittle. Some of these things on the, especially the older GPUs, they will get brittle um, over time. So you have to be a little more careful with it because you don't want that fan controller getting a little loosey goosey there. So that might, well, it looks like it's pretty tight there still, but we'll monitor. And if we need to put something in there, we can. There is some uh, thermal grease that you can put in there to make sure that it locks it down uh, as kind of a fix. But um, hopefully that one's a good one for you guys. Make sure you're liking and subscribing on these videos. Uh, tomorrow's video is going to show these things and we'll see what the net change with the, the stuff is with this that we just put on here and the thermal uh, paste and the, the heat pads. And let's, uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Peace.